beautiful people. My name is Nate, this is Tiana. She's known as the Slow Burn Queen, and we're gonna go through something really special for you guys today. This workout is called Empower. Now listen, we all know that movement has the ability to change the world, especially now. Our goal in this workout is to convince you or to show you that you can essentially change the way you approach exercise, change the way you approach a certain session by pushing you to empower you to take on the world. Are you guys ready for this? All right, beautiful people, this is a strength training session, so you need dumbbells, two sets, something you can manage upper body with, and then something a little heavier that you can manage lower body with. If you don't have dumbbells, try to go through the workout with us just with body movements, but of course, when you have, have the opportunity to get some or go to the gym to, to do this workout, make sure you do that using dumbbells. There's four rounds. Round number one, we're crushing upper body. It's all about building up in a ladder formula with a little burn at the end. Number two, or round number two, we're hitting core. We gotta hit the core, same formula. And then round number three, it's all about the lower body. After that, you're going to your fourth round, which is your burner set. I need you to focus on that round. I need you to prove to me, I'm gonna push Tiana too, that you can get that portion done. We're gonna put some heat in your muscles. We're gonna move in some awesome lifting patterns, but more importantly, I get to punish Tiana a little bit, like she did to me in her first class, I'll never forget it. And we're gonna have some fun, you guys. We're gonna get going because the fact of the matter is, Sean knows how to lift. If you don't wanna do a warm up, think as your first 12 reps as your warm up. So it's all about being able to coach through, go being coached through the pattern a little bit to get your body moving. So the first exercise is a bent over row. Grab your weights, let's go into position. We'll work different angles so you guys can see what's happening. I'm gonna get Tiana actually to move this way a little bit. Again, lock the shoulders in, core is tight. Go for it, 12 reps, right? Exhale every time you row. Three, that's right, four, five, tight, scapula, six, control everything, seven. She's not rushing, we're doing a lot of reps. Keep going, yeah. Keep going. Once you get to your 12, your next exercise is a bilateral shoulder press. So we're gonna face the camera, press it up, and I want 90 degrees, not lower. Stop here, hold it, press. Now, you can already tell, yeah, Tiana has muscles, she lifts. But the thing is, that's what's empowering. That's the real deal, right? It's all about control, seeing your muscles work, feeling it. So when you're at the bottom, I want you to flex hard and then push up. Your core is controlled. You're inhaling on the way down, exhaling on the press. Give me 12 reps. Okay, after 12 reps, you're gonna go into a wide bent over row. I want Tiana to stand up a little bit taller and then wide, and then as you come up, reset, bicep curl. So you're doing a wide row with a bicep curl for 12 reps, don't rush. Pull it up, stand tall, bicep curl. Notice her head's not moving all over the place. Give me 12 reps. The empowerment comes through your willingness to get through the reps and the sets and obviously using a weight that you can manage and always increasing the weights as you go through it. After you are done this set, you're gonna go into push-ups. Now I understand you may not be able to do push-ups full out, but you're gonna try. I want you to try, that's why we're here. And if you can own push-ups, you're gonna own them for 12. Get your 12 reps. Yeah, there you go. She hear that? She's telling me three more. I can't control this king or queen at the, in this particular moment. You're going to get a, a, a nice cardiovascular response a little bit later down the line, but think more muscular than cardiovascular in the beginning. Okay, now push ups. Tian's going to turn to her left just a little bit or right, doesn't matter. And then I want 12 push ups, but I want 90 degree shoulder and elbows. Hold. 
Back up. That's a little bit too low. Go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Give me a pause at the bottom. Boom. Yes. If push-ups are kind of one of those things where you're not perfect at them, you put in reps. That's what we're doing. Get empowered. Put in the reps and try as hard as you can to get those 12 reps in. After these, we go and do it all over again with 10 rep sets. Grab your weights. Rows. Lock it in. Tight. Shoulders down and back. Exhale, pull. One of the key things that you see people doing a lot of times incorrectly is when they pull, they'll throw their chest down and their head down through the floor. If you have a little movement, that's okay. But what's better if you have control and you think about your head and spine are secure and you're really bringing your shoulder blades into you instead of pulling your chest too far away from you, okay? 10 reps. And then from here, you know what's rest. What's next? Shoulder press, 10 reps. And it's after this set that the fatigue starts to kick in, okay? Hold, press. When you hold, flex like Tiana. Good, that's it. When you hold, flex, 10 reps. Beautiful, I love it. You can see her core is engaged. You can see she's really, you gotta admire your shoulders, right? Or just tell yourself where you wanna be in a month from now, okay? Wide rows with a bicep curl. Lock it in. Control bicep curl. Notice she is all the way at the top when she's hooking up that bicep curl. So bring it to the top before you pop. There you go, good. Now, another thing you often see is stop looking down. Look forward. Admire your strength. That's what I'm talking about, see? Oh, you don't look down. What are you looking down for? Take the word. Look at the camera. Look at us, right? No, look forward. You're good. Ten reps. Ten. Awesome. Yeah, I told you. After this, that last set is where it starts to kick in. This gets a little more extreme after this one, right? But that's the idea. Feel the pump. Build some muscle. Get jacked. 10, perfect. By, or get into those push-ups, whatever way you want. If you have to go kneeling, that's okay. 90 degrees. Hold. Boom. One. Three. Awesome. Hold. Four. Beautiful push-ups. Five. Look at her core, right? Lit. Six. Awesome work. Seven. Triceps. Money. Eight. Push those hands into the floor. Push your chest away. Index finger forward. Great work. What do you guys think? Should we do it one more time? Yeah, I think we should. One more. I'm just joking. There's actually two more. Whenever we on. Eight reps. Let's go. <laughs> two. Good. Three. Awesome. Four. That's right. See, she was moving a little bit, but she controlled it, right? She controlled it. She caught it. That's what you have to do. Figure out what your body's doing in space. If you control your body in space, you'll have a better recognition of how you're gonna get those muscles to work. Shoulder press. Lock it out, that's right. Eight reps. Two, feel them at the bottom. Three, barely hold the weights. Four, barely hold them. Yeah, five, game changer, right? Little tricks. Six, barely hold the weights. Seven, good, barely hold them. Eight, awesome work. Wide rows with bicep curl. Now make sure you hold on to the weight so you'll drop them. Nice wide, reset, core tight. Also, your feet in the floor, driving into the floor, think about pulling away from the midline. It's called your mid-sagittal line. You're trying to pull your feet through the floor away from this and you'll feel your glutes kick in a little bit at the top. So you're nice and secure to the ground. And again, you're controlling. Don't move your head, guys. Lock those shoulders down and back. Fatigue setting in, but it doesn't mean you can't control it. That great first round. Man, killing it. Keep it up, guys. You're crushing this. Last one. See? Jana's very organized, so you know she's not messing up her numbers. Push ups. Very organized. Again, money. Go for it. 
Uh, she's going to get her eight reps, and I know she'll get it. If you need to take a little break, it's okay. The idea is I want you to basically work at the same level as Tiana, and then just think about using more weight, right? All body types are different. Look, just be, don't be afraid to build muscle. And the thing is, last one, 10, go for it. And the thing is, if you're really skinny, yeah, you can build muscle. If you are a little bit overweight, yeah, you can still build muscle. The difference is, is we're using this workout. This is 10 reps, she's got you. We're using this, keep working as you're listening. We're using this as a platform to show you that you can get this done. So the strength is first, the mental toughness to get it done, and then it's all about you putting in the work so that you can take it to the next level of training, okay? Shoulder press, this one's gonna burn, but I want you to get after it. Eight reps, 10 reps, sorry. See, Toy, she's organized. Four. Now, Tiana tried to use lighter weights for this when we first started, but I made her lift heavy, grab heavier ones. She probably could have used five more pounds, two and a half to five more pounds, right? But for the sake of the video, you know, it still works well, but she has 15 pound dumbbells. So for her, again, this is definitely work, wide rows with bicep curl, but don't be afraid to pick up something heavier if you have access to it and you've been in the game for a minute. If you're a beginner, the first time you go through it, 100% use something lighter until you're comfortable and you can move like Tiana does, okay? 10 reps, control it, pop it to the top, stop looking at the floor, look forward. Come on, champ. Look forward. That's it. Admire it. That's right. Admire what you've built or what you're building, right? Don't look down. You're too good for that. Strong. Control. Drop your feet through the floor. Awesome work, guys. I love this. It's a great set. Crushing some upper body for the first round. There you go. But how am I going to do push-ups? Lock it in. There you go. Finish strong. And then what we're going to do after this set of push-ups is you do a burnout round with your lighter dumbbells. But first things first. Come on, guys. Ladies, gentlemen, this is for, listen, don't ever think this is only for women or only for men. This is a global thing. All of us, trust me, will get something from this session. Pack your neck. I want you to pull your chin into your neck, right? So that you get that cervical spine nice and stable. Beautiful. 10 reps. Exhale. This is hard. She's going for it though. Beautiful. Now grab your light dumbbells. Tiana has five pounders. Start out this way. No rest. One at a time. One minute. This set is one minute. One at a time. Keep going. I'm going to tell you when to switch. But for now, keep going. Doesn't take long. Like, what the hell is that? Let's go. Keep them up. Bring them to the front. One at a time. Front raises. Go for it. That's it. Approximately one minute. Anyway. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You're doing awesome, guys. Yep. Keep going. I bet it's hard enough to make a face, isn't it? Now from here, out, down, up, forward. Put them both together. Yeah, beautiful. Forward, yes. Out, down, up, forward, out. Oh, man, you guys are all stars. I absolutely love this. Three more here, and then we're going to go into little V shoulder presses, okay? Love it. Great burner. One more. And then come up, run into these here, and then finish strong. Ready? Go. Right on that V. A little wider. A little wider. Bring your elbows away from your bodies if you're kind of doing a lat pull down. There you go. Ten. Nine. Don't the elbows drop so low. Eight. Come on. Seven. Yeah. Six. Deltoids. Five. Come on. Four. Three. Two. One. And just like that, round number one is done. We're going to take a short break. You guys are amazing. Tiana crushed it. I know you guys are crushing it too. Take a short break. Core is coming up. Good job, guys. All right, all right, here we go. Short rest is over. Let's get into round number two, which is your core set. Again, 12, 10, 8, 10. The concept is simple. Burn your core out. Let's get some energy into your abs. What I want you to think about too, though, guys, is breathe with this. Don't stiffen up your neck too much. Stay controlled and 
put your mind in connection with your core using your breath and your understanding of where your abdominals are. If you haven't got there yet, don't worry. By the end of this round, you'll feel your abs working for you. All right, first exercise is your dead bug. We're gonna show you a couple of these first before we go into it. Again, key points, dorsiflex your toes, knees just above your hips, and you always want your heels just above your knees, okay? Squeeze your hands together, there you go. If you wanna create a little more extra tension, keep your core tight, 12 reps alternating, go for it. One, reset. Two, reset. You don't have to look anymore, you got it. Three, just do it, reset. Squeeze your palms together, four, reset. Now, think about as you're kicking your legs out, keep working is pushing your lower back and your, your kind of your spinal muscles into the floor as you extend that heel out and you're flexing your core so much, your head is not moving. After your dead bugs, you're going into lower ab toe taps. Your hands stay in the same position. You keep going, one more. I think it's one more, right? I nailed it. Now point your toes to the floor. Good, touch to the floor and then roll your body up. That's it, roll your pelvis up. Now you notice what Tiana's doing, she's lifting her head a little bit, she's holding her head in space, touching the floor, and I want you to focus on your belly button down to the top of your pelvis as you're getting these reps in. 12 reps. Ten, 11, 12. V-up crossovers, you're gonna hold in a V-up position and then alternate sides. You can put one leg down to help you go for it. 12 reps from here, one. Two, didn't count the first one. Three, four, there you go. Five, bum down, six, keep your head in space, guys. Seven, eight, flex, nine, good, leg straight. 10, 11, and 12. Coming up next, check it out, wide base planks. So I want you to spread your hands as wide as you can that you can support your body, keep your core locked in, you warmed it up already. Now just drop your chest without bending your elbows, come back up, one, there you go, two. So now you're protracting, retracting your shoulders, your scapula. Do not, do not drop your neck. So again, pull your chin in and get those 12 reps in. is way harder than it looks up higher that's what i want push your chest through your shoulder blades come on guys now let's do it again in three two one dead bug go kick it that's it palms tight low back into the floor feel your entire spinal column the muscles not the actual <laughs> vertebrae push it into the floor and then extend out do not let your head move so i'm going to be a little more I'm gonna give Tiana a hard time for these 10 reps, is I want her to make sure that I do not see her head move a millimeter. So I want her to push her low back into the floor harder and extend out and flex her core more. That's what I'm talking about. See, look, wait a minute, that worked. Keep going, yeah, last one. And then, that's good. Two bonus, that's good. And little toe taps, go for it. Head in space, palms stay in the same position. Go for it, 10 reps. Four, five, belly button to pelvis. Good job, guys. Get it. Come on. Get this. Doing awesome. That's it. Let's go V up crossovers. That's right. One, two, good. Three. I like these because you're challenging your psoas, your hip flexors and quads in a different way along with your core and it's forcing you to recognize where your torso is in space for those 10 reps, okay? Now go into those wide scap. Now, Tiana says she found the last set really hard, so I'm gonna try to pull your hands in a little closer, right? You can switch it up, of course. Challenge it, but feel where it's comfortable for you. And then work outside that comfort zone. So you can see for her, that's a little better, right guys? You can see she has a little more motion as you push through. You shouldn't be looking at the screen, but if you are, it's a little easier, but again, control your head. 10 reps. That's it, keep your core tight. Don't let your low back drop through, you guys. That's it. What's going on, what's going on? Eight reps. Come on, crew, so that's it. Dead bug, go. One, two, don't move your head. Three. 
Five, awesome work. Six, push your belly button through the floor. Seven, awesome work. Eight, beautiful. Toe taps, right into it. Head above the ground into space. Two, three, roll that pelvis up and you get tired. Four, that's what I'm talking about. Five, superstar status. And eight, awesome work. Get into that uncomfortably comfortable position at the top and then get the psoas and quads to work. Go for it. One, I don't like the first one. Two, there you go. Three, good. Four, five. These are really good, guys. Six, seven, and eight. Good. Again, another uncomfortably comfortable position. So work with the width that works with you and then get uncomfortable and drop the chest down and then pull the chest through above your armpits. So you're essentially doing protraction and depression of the scapula with those nice straight arms for those eight reps. See what I'm saying? Empowering, awesome to watch somebody perform great looking reps. Still smiling, what the hell is that? I call her, I call her Colgate all the time, now you know why, right? Go for it. Kick it in, 10 reps, two, yes guys, three, strong, four, now hold this one out there, five, hold it, bring it back, six, hold it, bring it back, seven, control your head, look at her reps now, they're perfect, eight, two more, hold your head strong, belly button down, yes, good work, crew, one more, bring it back, Good, hand same position, let's go. 10 reps, toe taps, lower abs. And get after it, 10 reps, threes. Don't touch your heels guys, just your toes. Ladies and gents, just your toes, not your heels. When you touch your toes only, it keeps your feet closer to your body, that's the concept. All right, last, three and two. One, awesome. You know what's coming up next? V-ups, let's go get those rotations in. I, like to, I don't like to count number one on these. Ready, go. One, two, three, 10 reps. Four, seven, eight, nine, 10. Bring it over. Let's go back into those wide plank retractions. And again, you kind of want to be just a little wider than your torso. It depends on your skill level. If you've been in the game for a long time and you have really good shoulder stability, you can go wider. If not, keep the hands a little closer so that you can feel the exercise. 10 reps. And I like the pause at the, each range of this with retraction, protraction, right? It's all about holding it. Lead with your chest, not with your head, okay? That's it. This really kicks in. You're going to feel a little tiny muscles sore tomorrow like what is that that's half the reason is this exercise right here great now what we're going to do again is take a little break as you go through you can do your burnout so as we go to your break this is your 30 second piece tiana will show you what we're doing as part of your break so your hands are down to the side so the first exercise you, the second exercise you did were those little toe taps she's going to tap now thrust to the ceiling after you get up there boom and then i want you to push as high as you can. Rest for a sec. That's gonna be your one minute piece, okay? That is how we finish round number two. You guys are amazing, you're killing this. In five, four, three, two, one minute, one, go. As you go through this, try to control your head. So I want you to drive your shoulder blades into the floor. I want you to push your palms down and through so you're stable. And this will absolutely make your abs sore tomorrow, right? Drive those feet to the ceiling and let's get that woman. She's getting tired. Oh, she's getting tired. Get up there. I want more, more, more. Push, push. Watch. There you go. That's good. Push, push, push. A little more. We have 20 seconds, guys. 20 seconds. Push through the floor. Get up there. Watch this. 10, nine, right here. Yeah, eight, seven, so me. Six, get up there. Five, good. Four, three, two, one. 
awesome work. What I have to do now is grab those heavy weights, whatever you want to use for your deadlifts and squat type patterning. Grab those, get them close to you, and we're going to hit legs coming up in round number three. Good job, guys. All right, rest is over. We have another round coming up. It's round number three. We're working lower body. So grab those heavier weights and get them ready because you're gonna put them to work. The first thing we're doing is deadlifts. We're gonna be crushing those bad boys out. So I want you to lift your heavier weights for that, but make sure you have a lighter set for your fourth exercise. So first thing, grab those weights. Let's get into your deadlifts for 12 reps. Same protocol. I'm gonna get Tiana to turn a little bit so you can see the position of her back long. One thing I want you to think about your deadlifts, think about squeezing an orange in your armpit. When you squeeze that orange in your armpit, flex your lats and then squeeze your shoulder blades at the same time. And then you can also screw those feet into the floor, mid sagittal line, spread them apart, give me 12 reps, go. One, good, lock it out the top. You can pop here, that's it. So you notice her depth, it's great. I always say about half shin is a great um, guideline for you to work towards, okay? Work towards mid shin, little pause at the bottom, flex that booty and hamstrings, come back to the top, squeeze in those oranges for those 12 reps. That's it, keep going. Strong, strong, strong. Obviously, neutral spine is talked about often with your deadlifts. You're gonna go into your goblet squat next. Right there, gonna drop one weight. Now with this one, you can hold the weight like this in the goblet, or you can hold it there if you want, but I prefer this. Lock the elbows in at the bottom of the weight, and drop down, hold at the bottom, and then come back up. A lot of times people rush this. Her position is great because she's not going ass to grass. I prefer about a 90 degree angle of your knees, which is less than ass to grass. Vertical torso, vertical torso, <sighs> pop to the top, okay? Good, 12 reps. You wanna feel your quads engage before you drop to the ground. You wanna feel your quads engage with your core before you go into that squat, okay? After this, you're gonna go into single leg deadlifts, alternating, so grab both weights, grab the heavy ones, and then you're gonna do an alternating SLD, DL, and then just hold at the bottom right here. That's your range, and then pop to the top. It might seem short, guys, but trust me, it's okay, because the thing is, I want you to be stable within this movement, and I want you to know that it doesn't have to be a huge amount of depth to get results from this exercise. So back leg is dorsiflexed. I want you to drive the knee a little further to the ceiling, Tiana, as you go down there, so a little further up the knee. That's it, hold, and then power up, good. So she has about a 45, say 50 degree angle on that forward leg for those 12 reps. Hold, and then power up. That's right, you'll feel these guys. Also think about flexing your calves in the front leg, so get that calf muscle to fire up, that it will add stability to your foot and to your leg to help you really lock in those single leg deadlifts, okay? After your 12 reps, you're gonna grab your lighter weights and you're gonna go into a reverse lunge in a bicep curl position to get a little lat serratus, strong upper back, so hold it here. Oh yeah, hold them a little further. Arms are still on fire from the first round, right? And then when you go back, hold there. So back up. So you should, and then switch sides. You should be able to see your hip when you go back. And then power up. That's right, 12 reps. Hold. I want to hold at the bottom. Stop. And then power up. That's a little bit too low still. Hold. Yes, because I want you to feel the fibers. I want you to be focused so that it all makes sense and that when you go through this work on a multiple occasions, you get better, you get stronger, you get more confident, and you know you can do this 
without getting hurt and getting in that strength game. Okay? Grab those weights. Deadlifts. How many? 10. Let's get it. Half shin. That's right. Oranges. Armpits. Lock it in. That's right. You notice when Tiana did that, see how our arms and back fired up a bit more, right? So now you can see that strength really locked it in. So now she has a great understanding of how to secure her upper body. She always does, but the thing is, it's little cues and situations where you just might not be thinking or you, you're tired and you're losing it, where knowing those little cues can help you feel more secure and again, give you more confidence within the movement. Get your 10 reps in there. Drop a weight, goblet squats. Hold at the bottom, don't go ass to grass. Hold, that. Can you turn to the side, Tiana? Do that same thing. Hold, that's what I'm talking about. See, vertical torso, hold, strong legs. That's right, bum back, hold it. That's right, so look at her knees. She's not bending her legs too much. Instead, flex your quads before you drop. You're going to feel that. That's what it's all about, guys. You're absolutely crushing this. Again, you can spread the floor with your feet with, away from that mid-sagittal line so you feel those glutes kick in. That's awesome. See, I know it's starting to make sense now because you can see that she's controlling the movement a little bit better. Even experienced lifters always, always can gain insight from a bit of cueing from somebody helping them as a coach. Single leg deadlifts, 10 reps. Back leg is nice and strong, dorsiflex. That was excellent. Bring it back up, really good, switch legs. Hinge, power up, good. 10 reps, awesome. Even here, oranges, armpits, lock the back in, right? That's it, constant reminders, guys. Still getting a really good hip hinge and then control at the bottom so you see she's not moving side to side. She's keeping great control from her back. Keep going. Get those 10 reps. Breathing's awesome. Hold. Power up. You guys are amazing. Crushing this. Ten reps, done. You know what to do, grab those light weights. Hold that bicep curl position. Yeah, that's right. Lock it in. Abs are strong, you guys. Hold, power up, still too deep. Cause she's used to going longer with that step and dropping down more, but I want you to stop sooner. That's better, good. Hold, there you go. Flex your bum as you go back along with your biceps. Hold those elbows up a little higher, Chant. A little higher, there you go, that's it. Good, hold, that's right. Now as you hold at the bottom, flex lats, serratus, and biceps a bit more with your glutes and quads. That's it, 10 reps, oh my gosh. Getting serious, that's it, it's getting serious guys. <laughs> eight, eight reps. Oranges, upper back, pack the neck. When you stand up, look proud, right? Don't keep your head down, you're good. Come on. Excellent, great deadlifts, look at that. At the top, I want you to flex her shoulders more and sh that's what I'm, yeah. I want her to show you what she's built, right? It's all about that. And I want her to look forward more, that's right. If you're looking in the mirror, I want you to see your eyes at the top of that lift. You drop down and you only see yourself at the top of that lift, okay? Switch it up. Drop one weight. Goblet squats. I said face this way. Let's give them the, yeah, there you go. Go from there. Hold. There, that, see, that was actually really good, guys. Hold. Excellent. Control your shin angle by pushing your bum back a little bit. Remember, feel your quads. That was great, but I want that pause. She's getting tired. This is what happened. When you get there. Come on, guys, keep going. Back your neck, feel your quads before you move into the squat and then hold at the bottom and feel them again. Come on. That was a great squat, excellent.
What is she trying to do? Is she trying to skip an exercise? You see that? You see how she's trying to skip an exercise? Oh, I thought she was trying to skip an exercise there. Lock it in. How many reps, champ? How many are we going to? See, I told you, she never forgets. Eight reps total. As you get tired, you're gonna focus on your spinal core a little bit, guys. Fire up your hamstrings before you go back. And that rear leg, I want more dorsiflexion and more hamstring. We're almost home. Stay strong. Stay strong. Lock it in. Core is strong. You will start feeling your upper back your biceps, right? Everything kicks in, but that's what I'm trying to explain to you is that the empowerment is being able to stay controlled, right? Get enlightened through the movements. Know that these movements will benefit you by being controlled. They're gonna allow you to get stronger, build muscle, and of course, just feel really, really good. Come on. One more, guys. This is it. One more. Remember, if you need to take a break, a little bit extra, it's okay. But we have one more set to go. Let's go. Good. Hinge, hold, pull. So I'm going to tell Tiana to go a little bit less with her hinge. There. Now, you might have noticed before she started to lose control a little bit. That's okay. That, that's still a fantastic deadlift. And in this situation, under fatigue, it's better to shorten the pattern slightly so you create more tension instead of forcing yourself in a position where you can't control the movement. Good. 10 reps for your last run through. Upper back, oranges in those armpits. Awesome. Feet are staying nice and controlled. Awesome. Really good. Yeah. Goblets, last set. However you want to set it up, crew. Feel your quads before you move. Lock this in. Arms are really strong. There you go. Hold at the bottom. Power to the top. Another great squat. Hold at the bottom. Power to the top. Flex your quads before you move and drive up. That's it. Now let's get rid of that looking down as you stand to the top. Let's look forward. That's right. It's the Guys, it's important because it's easy to lose sight of what you're doing. The ground's not gonna change. What's important is that you can see and be proud to see yourself looking forward and to control your head position, all right, at the top of the movement. Get after that. That was a beautiful squat, very good. One more set of single leg deadlifts. This is it, okay? This is it. Lock it in. Hold, power to the top. When you feel like you're getting tired, you can decrease the range slightly, okay? Oranges, armpits, upper back strong, chin neutral, nice 45 to 50 degree angle over that forward leg. There you go. Even a little less is totally fine. Look at that. Great. Strong hip hinge. Getting the sweat on now. Starting to get some heat. Ladies, you're doing amazing. This is a great session for you. Really good movements, very strong. You're gonna feel fantastic. Might be sore the first time you go through it, but it's okay. Ready for it, last set, come on. Hold, power up. Hold, power up, good. Don't forget about your core. Don't forget, make sure that knee is not diving in. So you wanna keep knee and shin over the ankle. That's right, and as you go down, think about pushing the weights up a little bit as you drop down too, as you get tired. That's, that's right, so you're gonna hide them behind them a little bit. Upper back, shoulders, biceps, hamstrings. My God, there's so much. Look at that. <laughs> Crew, incredible, but we have one thing left, and the only thing I want you to do is a little burnout for me. It's all about pushing you just a little bit more than you normally would. Here's what your finisher looks like. So it's gonna be, you're gonna alternate. So it's gonna be a reverse lunge 
right leg, lateral lunge, right leg, and then a transverse rotational lunge with the right leg, then turn back to the front, and then we're gonna switch legs. So you do three movements per side for one minute to finish this piece off, and then you're gonna do one more complete burnout to finish off this session. Okay, hold your weights in your hands. You just use, use the same weights you just used, and we're gonna go in three, two, right leg goes back first, go right leg back, lateral lunge, and then rotational. Now switch feet, good. Reverse, lateral, awesome. Notice where she's putting the weights in the position, and then back to the middle. I really need you to focus on your core with this. I really need you to focus on your breathing, staying strong to finish with this one. This is a Nate Bauer training session. Dep you know, with somebody, with Tiana, you know, that has a certain amount of capacity for work. I wouldn't necessarily do this all the time with her, of course, but this would be, say, a day of her training. But typically, because I know how strong she is, I would just increase the weight or put under a squat bar or a deadlift. So just a variation, but this style of workout is how I would train her. I don't train her, but if I were, this is the style of workout that we would be doing, but with heavier weights and probably a little less reps. One minute is up in five, four, three, two, one, how perfect was that? All right, good. Now, your main finisher is this. On the floor, she's gonna go into push-ups for her upper body. Then she's gonna go into a plank for core. And then she's gonna do one set of uh, squat to split lunge. That's it. We're gonna do, I don't know what, 15 reps of each? No, let's, do let's do 12 reps of each. That's enough. Let's do 12 reps of each, okay? Let's go, five, four, Three, I'm like that. Two, one, go, come on. This is where the empowerment comes in. You need to know where you got to on this last round. If you got to six, that's cool. Get to seven next time. If you got to eight, that's still all good. Get to nine next time. If you got to one, it's better than none. Do you know what I mean? Just get empowered, know that you can get there. Plank, hold it. Now, her 15 or 12 here is basically gonna be, say, 12 to 15 seconds, because trust me, you're still gonna feel this. You did a lot of work today. So hold that plank position. When you're here, focus on what your body is telling you. Focus on what your body is telling you. Strong shoulders, strong head position, strong core. Four, three, two, one. Bring it up, last piece here. So here's what you're gonna do. Squat, reverse, reverse, squat. That's one. Ready? Three. Two, one, go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh my gosh, she's smiling. What the hell? Nine. <laughs> yeah, guys. Ten. That's it, ladies. 11, amazing. One more. Let's just do one more. Finish strong. Just like that. Empowered. Session number one is done. You guys are amazing. Think about it. Three rounds, constant buildup, hypertrophy, strength, movement, challenge you, challenging you mentally, physically, and maybe even emotionally with that type of workout. You know what weights to use. If they were too light, you know that you can amp it up. If they were too heavy, you know where you have to start from in order to get to the weight that you're using. Make sure you have those dumbbells. Make sure too, at the end of this, you take some time and stretch it out, get a good recovery in, get that protein in there, a little bit of carbohydrate, whatever your protocol is for your recovery, post workout. Thank you for Tiana for coming out. It's all about you knowing what your body can do, but also expecting to push your body to take it places it hasn't yet reach that's important get empowered get the workouts in more importantly have some fun with it i will see you guys for the next workout let me know what you think of the session if you want more we'll hook it up for you but more importantly guys thank you for watching and i'll see you for the next workout